Full Width Block Slider Hello! The slider is a popular layout that allows you to display data as slides, switching them in one place with effects. It saves space and adds interaction to websites. There are two types of sliders, the Full Width Block Slider and the Slider Element. Today's video is about the Full Width Block Slider, often used as the first block of a website containing a hero image, the main statement, and the call to action button. On the other hand, the slider element is usually smaller and is only a component in a block like sliding cards, for example testimonials. We will explain it in another video. Add full width block slider. Open the add panel. Go to the slider section. Select the full width block slider in the list and then select the block slider preset. You can also convert any block into a full-width block slider. Add any design, for example, from the text and image section. Click on the options icon. Select the Add Block Slide option from the menu and choose the preset. Let's add some elements to the added block slide. Click on the Add then select the button element. Modify the headline, text and button text if needed. Click in the change image icon or double-click the background image to open the image dialog. Search for the image topic and select any image for the slide background. After you change the image, you see the Fit button which allows you to adjust your image background for the slide. You can change the fit anytime by clicking the fit icon on the toolbar. In the image fit mode, zoom the image in, move right and apply the changes. You can also reset the background if needed. Adjust the text width and align elements left by clicking the alignment icons in the property panel. Clicking on the block slider or inner elements opens the slide thumbnails at the bottom, helping you to select, add, duplicate and move slides. You can add a new block slide by choosing an option from the Add Slide menu. In the opened Add panel, you see the highlighted block slide section in yellow, on which you choose the blank slide. You can also duplicate the block slide by clicking the duplicate icon on the slide thumbnail. You can also find this option on the context menus and add panel. Also, you can copy any block and paste it into the block slider as a slide. Add any design from the text and image section. Copy and paste it into the block slider as a slide. You can drag the slide thumbnail in the thumbnail pane to move. Delete slides by clicking on the bucket icon on the thumbnail hover. There are three main property groups – slider, arrows and indicators. Slider properties – change the animation effect for the slide change to fade. Arrows Properties Modify the slider arrows by adding their background and changing the size, color and shape. Indicators Properties Change the shape and colors of the slider indicators. Return to the main slider properties. Modify the zoom, shade, etc. And set the on-click action making the whole slide a link if needed. The full width block slider is mobile friendly automatically. Switch the modes and modify the slide content if needed. Publish or preview the website to see the full width block slider on the live website. We have finished the lesson about the full width block slider. The next video is about the slider element. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. Thank you for watching.